Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on frustums. So in this video we'll be looking at how to calculate the volume of frustums uh, but let's first of all uh, define what a frustum actually is. So a frustum is the shape that's left behind when you remove the top section of a cone or a pyramid. Uh, so this green shape here is a frustum. Uh, and in order to calculate the volume of the frustum, uh, let's call it V frustum, we need to calculate the volume of the original cone in this case uh, so let's call that V original uh, and then we uh, subtract the volume of the cone that's been removed uh, so we'll call that V removed uh, so that gives us the volume of the frustum uh, so using this example then uh, V original uh, would be the volume of the original cone and the volume of a cone is a third pi r squared times h uh, so that's a third times pi and then in this case it's capital R uh, because that's the radius of the larger cone uh, so a third pi r squared and then times h uh, that's capital H for the height of the original cone and then v removed so that's the small cone uh, again, a third pi r squared h, uh, but this time it's the smaller radius, so the radius of the small cone uh, times h here, uh, which is the height of the smaller cone removed. Uh, so therefore, the frustum, so the volume of the frustum, would be a third pi, I'll just redraw that pi there, a third pi r squared, capital H, and capital R as well minus a third pi lowercase r squared lowercase h. So let's take a look at an example question now. Uh, so this time it's a pyramid frustum. Uh, so below is a frustum of a square base pyramid. Calculate the volume of the frustum. Okay, uh, so again, we need to work out the difference between the volume of the original pyramid and the one that's been removed. Uh, so let's call the original pyramid the original again. Uh, now the volume of a pyramid is a third times the area of the base. Now this is a square base pyramid, uh, so the area of the base is just 5 times 5, which is 25. Uh, so area of the base 25 uh, times the height, which is 15 centimetres. Uh, so if we plug that into a calculator, we get 1 third times the area of the base, 25 times the vertical height, 15, that gives us 125, and then that will be centimetres cubed. So that's the volume of the original pyramid. Uh, next, we need the volume of the pyramid that's been removed. So uh, we don't have the height of it, but we do have the base. So let's first of all work out the height. Uh, so the height of the original pyramid is 15 centimetres, and the height of the frustum is 6 centimetres. Uh, so the difference must be the height of the small pyramid and that is nine centimeters so the volume sorry of the small pyramid that's been removed so let's call it v removed again will be a third times the area of the base now the area of the base in this case uh, is this square here so that's uh, three centimeters by three centimeters so three squared equals nine so it's a third times nine and then the height times 9 again. Uh, so if we plug that into the calculator, we get 1 third times 9 times 9, and that is 27. Okay, uh, so 27 centimeters cubed, that's the height, or sorry, the volume of the pyramid that's been removed. Now the volume of the frustum is just the difference between the volume of the original pyramid and the one that's been removed. So that's 125 minus 27, uh, which we don't need to calculate for that. That's just 98 centimeters cubed. So let's have a look at a second example now. So below is a frustum of a cone. Calculate the volume of the frustum, giving your answer in terms of pi. Uh, now, if we look at this carefully, uh, we can see that we're actually missing the radius uh, for the top section or the, the cone that's been removed. Uh, but we can work it out uh, knowing that the two shapes are similar. In other words, the cone that's been removed 
is mathematically similar to the cone uh, that was originally there. Uh, so we can work out the scale factor. So uh, the height of the original cone is 36 uh, millimeters and the height of the small cone that's been removed is 12 millimeters. So the scale factor is 36 divided by 12, which equals three. Uh, so now we can work out the radius of the smaller cone. Uh, so the radius of the smaller cone is the radius of the large cone, 15, divided by the scale factor of three. And that gives us a value of five. So the smaller radius is five. So that's all the information that's required uh, to answer the question. Now it's just a case of working out the volumes of the original cone and the one that's been removed. Uh, so the volume of a cone is V equals third pi r squared h. Uh, so for the larger cone, we'll call it V original. Our value is a third times pi. Now r in this case is 15. Uh, and then 15 squared. Now the height is 36 millimeters, so times 36. So if we plug that into the calculator, we get a third times pi times r squared, so 15 squared times 36. And that gives us 2,700 pi. Uh, so that's the volume of the original cone. Now let's work out the volume of the cone that's been removed. We'll call it V removed again. Uh, and then the formula is the same, a third pi. Uh, in this case, we use the value of R that we've just calculated. So that's five squared. And then the height of the smaller cone is 12. So if we plug that into a calculator, get a third times uh, pi times R squared, so five squared times 12 in this case, and that gives us 100 pi. So the volume of the frustum then, it's just the difference between the two volumes. So that's 2,700 pi minus 100 pi, which gives us 2,600 pi. And that's our final answer because the question says, give your answer in terms of pi. So frustums can be quite a challenging topic and the questions can be quite tricky. Uh, so why not have a practice with our online exam? Uh, you can find it through our revision platform and you'll find lots of different questions, a variety of question types, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. Uh, so this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. So if you're interested, uh, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there. You can practice the exam.